YouTube, how's it going? Happy to be back. I've got a short video for you today, but I thought it'd be kind of fun. Uh, long story short, in 2018, I used to have a 2018 BMW M2. It was full bolt-on, it was everything shy of new turbos. I had a close friend who actually had a 2017 Jaguar F-Type R, and we got the bright idea that we should run them. Here's the clip. As you can tell, the F-Type really started to walk away from me at about 100 miles an hour. And it was about that same day that I looked at that F-Type driving away from me and I looked at the beautiful carbon blade wheels it had on it that I decided that when I have a Jaguar F-Type R, I must get the carbon blade wheels. However, fast forward till right now, 2020, I bought this beautiful white Jaguar F-Type R Thing was, it came with the Storm wheels, which look like this. I do really like the Storm wheels. I think that they fit awesomely with the white paint, the kind of studs that wrap around them. But I knew that on my ideal F-Type, I'd have to get the carbon blade wheels. Just personal preference, that's all it really boils down to. After I found the, the carbon blade wheels and a really cool guy named Bill who was willing to trade with me, I got back home, I put them on my car, but before doing so, I wanted to know if these were any lighter, the carbon blade wheels, because, I mean, come on, they have carbon fiber. Even if it's completely fake and they're just clip-on pieces of carbon fiber, I wanted to know. So, before trading my wheels, I took my old wheels off my car, I put them on the uh, plug for, for Weight Watchers here, I put them on this uh, scale, and I went ahead and traded them with the, these wheels right here. Holy hell. 68.8. Now, the reason why this is interesting to me is because Jaguar clouts these amazing looking wheels as being lightweight. In the topics guide and the part number, you can find literature that calls these forged. I don't think they're forged because they still feel kind of heavy to me, but we're about to find out. Before we do though, it's, it's worth knowing that my storm wheels right now, if you go to Jaguar um, West Palm Beach or something like that, you can order them for $850 a pop. If you try to order these, the carbon blade wheels, it will be $1,100 for just the wheel. And then if you want the carbon blade inserts, you have to pay $100 per little plastic clip-on piece. That leaves you with a $1,600 wheel. One wheel which is pretty wild because that would mean that these are twice as expensive as the Storm wheels. But we're gonna see if that actually makes a difference in the weight department, okay? So, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You guys know it helps me out a whole lot and give this video a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay. Bad Bunny's coming in at 63.5. All right, let's move on to the front. Get your devil out. Ah. This lady's coming in at 57.1. All right, we got what we need. Okay, here is the numbers. I've got them for you. So my old wheels came in at 68.8 in the rear and 58.2 in the front. My new carbon blade wheels came in at 63.5 in the rear, which is about five pounds savings per wheel. And then we got 51.7 in the front, which is a little over one pound 
per per wheel on savings and I think it would be more the deal is I actually just got brand new front tires so I think that had all things been equal it probably would have been two maybe three pounds saved in the front um, regardless very happy I think you guys know if you can save any amount of unsprung weight you're doing your car a tremendous favor. You'll brake faster, you'll accelerate faster, you're more agile around corners, you even have better uh, suspension, like softness, you know, you have a better ride even. Uh, it doesn't really help my case because I did put spacers back on the car, you know, with which weigh about one pound per corner, so I'm kind of an idiot there. But hey, at least I got to kind of offset that with my nice, uh, carbon blade wheels. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video or thought it was informative, please do me a kindness, give it a like and a uh, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for coming around. Hope you have a good day and we'll see you next time.